let's talk about my holy grail men's fragrances i have 13 fragrances here for men that are my absolute favorite there are fragrances that when i smell them on a man i am truly intoxicated by the scent of them so i wanted to go through and show you guys what my personal holy grail fragrances for men are and i have some some bangers here so let's get into it also guys if you have not downloaded sniff yet you absolutely have to sniff is my mobile application dedicated to perfumery where you can learn all about the fragrances you can connect with other people you can do everything on sniff so make sure that you download it the first fragrance that is an absolute holy grail for me is basso from sospiro now i know that i talk a lot about vibrato but personally, when it comes to smelling a scent on a man, I am obsessed with Basso. Now, this fragrance to me is the perfect, 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 perfect signature scent for any man. This is a very, very, very beautiful, sexy, intoxicating, fresh, dry, slightly spicy, woody scent very wearable, very classy, totally signature scent worthy. Actually, there is um, a hotel downtown in Dubai. It's called the Address Hotel. There is like so many of them, but the one that I'm thinking of in my mind and the one that I go to, it smells exactly like Basso and it's truly one of my favorite smells in the entire world. It smells super luxurious, very classy and very, very sexy. Everyone will be able to smell you when you wear Basso because it has a fantastic projection and longevity. Like I said, it's fresh, but it's a little bit spicy, very dry and woody and masculine and it has a slight sweetness underneath. A complete 10 out of 10 fragrance for men and I cannot get enough of it. And also I wanted to mention, I just received a few days ago Isola Blue from Roja and it reminds me a lot of Basso. I get messages on the daily from you guys asking me if Tuxedo from Yves Saint Laurent is still one of my favorite fragrances. And of course, Tuxedo is truly in my top five men's fragrances for the rest of my life. There is something about this DNA that I cannot resist. It is so incredibly sexy on a man's skin. If you don't know how Tuxedo smells, it's a little bit fresh, yet sweet, slightly green, a little bit leathery and a little bit ambery, but it's so smooth, it's so well blended, and it's so, so sexy. I was at Dubai Mall a few weeks ago, and one of my followers, uh, it was a guy, he stopped me and we had a little bit of a chat. He told me that he watches my fragrance reviews, we got a picture, and then he asked me, he goes, what is one fragrance that you can recommend to me right now to go and smell? And I told him Tuxedo and he later went on to sending me a message to say that he loved Tuxedo because of my recommendation. Longevity projection is around six to eight hours with a really decent projection. It's gonna, uh, people will be able to smell you within your proximity and it's just a sexy, sexy, sexy fragrance. So Tuxedo from Yves Saint Laurent, yes, it is still one of my favorites to this day and it will remain in my favorites for a very long time. Okay guys, just gonna quickly, Bleu de Chanel. Bleu de Chanel, you guys. I have the Eau de Parfum Concentrate right here. This will also be one of those fragrances that stays a favorite of mine for a very, very long time. I know most of you guys know this fragrance. You probably all own it, but I do want to be honest and put it in this list because it is one of my holy grail scents. And in terms of designer fragrances, this to me is perfection. It's, you cannot fault this fragrance. It's just perfect. It's very fresh, very masculine. It has that out of the shower, sexy man smell. A lot of women that when they refer to a men's fragrance, they, they call it a sexy out of the shower man scent. 
and that is exactly what Bleu de Chanel is. It smells fresh, yet very masculine. Bleu de Chanel is truly a timeless fragrance. This will still be relevant in the next 20, 30, 40 years. It has a very classic and timeless DNA, and it's just incredible. So if you don't own this yet, you totally should get a bottle. It is just fantastic, very versatile. You can wear it any time of the year, in any situation, and it's going to work. So Bleu de Chanel, the Eau de Parfum, fantastic fragrance. I'm obsessed with it. I, I love it so much. Next up, we have Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirkshaw. Now, I know a lot of men really love to wear Baccarat Rouge, and they also love to wear Oud Satin Mood, which personally I do find to be quite a feminine scent. But nonetheless, my favorite fragrance on a man from MFK is hands down Grand Soir. Now, I don't think that this fragrance will be for every single one of you, especially if you are more around the age of like early 20s, 18 years old, around there. I feel like Grand Soir might be a bit complicated for you to understand and it might smell a little bit mature for you. But if you're into niche fragrances and you really want to portray a sophisticated, um, classy, sexy, masculine image, you have to get Grand Soir. It is just perfection. This is one of my favorite amber fragrances in the entire world. It's so smooth and warm and sweet and cocooning. It's woody, it's balsamic, it's just a 10 out of 10. You have vanilla, amber, benzoin, labdanum. It's very well-rounded, it's very woody and smooth and ambery and sweet and it's just spectacular. I really recommend this one for the fall and winter, and I also really recommend it for a date night because it's gonna make the person that you're with wanna come closer. There is something comforting and very just inviting about Grand Soir. It's a 10 out of 10 fragrance with great longevity and projection. This one is gonna last around eight hours or so on your skin with a nice minimal projection fantastic definitely my top recommendation for men from Maison Francis Kirkshawn it's a great 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 fragrance to own next up we have Minuit de Mie from Fragrance Subois now I did create this fragrance with Fragrance Subois so of course I am biased but I am telling you gentlemen right now all of you gentlemen that appreciate more of a warm, slightly sweeter scent, you have to try Minuit de Me. I made this fragrance with the intentions of it being completely unisex. I didn't want to create something masculine. I didn't want to create something feminine. I wanted it to be a wearable gourmand for everyone. And that is exactly what we achieved with this fragrance. Minuit de Me is this spectacular, warm, slightly spicy, creamy, sweet, woody, slightly boozy gourmand fragrance and you guys it is truly intoxicating. Truly truly an intoxicating gourmand that works so well on a man's skin especially for date night. If you are going on a date with somebody I dare you to wear Minuit de Me and see the reactions of the person that you're with. You're gonna get complimented, you're gonna get noticed, and maybe you're even gonna get lucky because this fragrance, it has something so addictive about it. So Minuit de Me from Fragrance Dubois and myself, a 10 out of 10 gourmand fragrance with fantastic longevity and projection. We added a lot of woody molecules to the fragrance so that it would have a really good projection in the air, and that is exactly what it does. It lasts around eight hours on the skin and it has a huge projection and it holds onto your clothes for a very long time. So definitely check this one out if you're a man who likes your more sweeter scents. Not too sweet though. It's definitely the perfect balance. Try Minuit de Me. Next up we have Naxos from Zerzhov. Now you guys, I try to only include one fragrance from a specific brand. You know how much I love Zerzhov, Tony Yomi, Torino 21, uh, so many others, but I only wanted to put one fragrance. And if there is one fragrance that I can recommend and that if I could only choose one Zerzhov to smell on a man for the rest of my life, it would be Naxos. Naxos, Naxos, Naxos. There is something so intoxicating about this fragrance. There is a beautiful aromatic touch from some lavender. There is also some honey, some cinnamon, a little bit of a booziness, a woodiness, a little bit of a nuttiness. There is 
so many aspects of this scent that make it intoxicating and actually you guys this fragrance smells incredibly unique i do not own one other fragrance that smells exactly like naxos which shows to me that this fragrance is extremely unique and it's just a 10 out of 10 it's sweet it's boozy it's slightly woody it has an aromatic touch it is truly gorgeous on a man's skin. Although the notes would make you assume that this is a strictly fall and winter fragrance, I am telling you guys it's not. My partner, he wears it all year round, summer, autumn, winter, spring, on vacation, anywhere, anytime. It works so incredibly well. Longevity and projection is fantastic on Nuxos. You get around eight hours of really good wear with a really good projection as well. People will be able to smell you. They will most probably compliment you and you're going to smell so sexy. So next up we have Perfect Oud from Maison Sur. Now I wish that my partner wore this fragrance more. Like it actually annoys me that he doesn't wear this scent because I I'm dying to smell it every single day. The name of this fragrance is Perfect Oud, but I am telling you guys, this does not smell like real Oud at all. What you get with Perfect Oud is a very clean, slightly leathery, woody scent. It is absolutely incredible. You have something a little bit aromatic, fresh, very woody, slightly leathery and smoky, but everything feels so smooth, so well blended and very clean overall. This is a gorgeous fragrance on a man. This is the scent of Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey. This is the scent that I imagine on him. Something very cold and masculine and slightly detached from reality he would be wearing this scent. I would recommend this scent for business when you're in a suit, so maybe like a formal event, a wedding, etc. It's just incredible to me. So definitely check this one out. It's a very sophisticated, buttoned up, sexy, masculine fragrance on a man's skin, and I love it. I cannot recommend it to you guys enough. The longevity and projection is also really good. You get about eight hours of pretty good wear with a nice minimal projection within your arm's length. So perfect oud from Maison Sur, a 10 out of 10 fragrance for men. If you guys are an OG, you know. You know what I'm about to say with this scent. It is Herod from Parfum de Mali. Now, sticking to my rule of not including more than one fragrance, even though I was so close to putting Leighton in this list as well, I just put Herod because if there is one Parfum de Mali that I cannot live without on a man, it is Herod. Now, I have spoken about this scent for so many years now and I always say the same thing. This is sex in a bottle. Herod to me, is sex in a bottle. This is the most gorgeous, smooth vanilla tobacco fragrance on the market. You have a cinnamon note, you have the vanilla, the black pepper, a lot of isoe super so that the fragrance lasts and projects. It's just gorgeous, you guys. On a man's skin, this truly does something to me and I just cannot explain it. My bottle is from 2018, I believe, so the longevity and projection is fantastic. I have heard some things about reformulation, so you have to go and check it out for yourself, but my bottle lasts a long time on the skin. I probably get around eight to 10 hours of really good wear with a nice minimal projection. So Herod from Puffin Mali, you guys already knew it would be here. This is definitely a holy grail for me, and it will be forever and ever and ever. Next up, we have Killian Intoxicated, which is actually my favorite fragrance from Killian. There is something that I find so addictive about Intoxicated, Intoxicated, Addicted. I love this fragrance, especially on date night. There is something so incredibly sexy about it. What you have in Intoxicated is coffee, cardamom, and caramel. So it's very sweet, yet slightly green and spicy. There is something very spicy and punchy about the scent. You also have that beautiful kind of dark roasted coffee note running through it. And of course, the addictive sweet caramel note. I like get shivers when I think about how good this scent is. I remember I was walking in Dubai on the street and there was a man in front of me 
and I couldn't pinpoint what was so incredible about his scent trail until I realized that he was 100% wearing intoxicated. I could feel the coffee, the cardamom, the caramel just going into my face and I was literally like a zombie walking behind him. This is truly an incredible, incredible fragrance from Killian. I recommend this fragrance on date night for a formal situation for the fall and winter. It's just spectacular. Longevity projection is not amazing. I do have to be honest. You probably get about seven hours of decent wear with a minimal projection. It's not a beast, but it definitely isn't weak either. So totally recommend this one. It's definitely one of my holy grails. Such a sexy, sexy fragrance on a man. I am going to blow your mind. I have a new holy grail fragrance. Keep in mind, I have only owned this scent for about two months, so I've smelled it off of Pierre maybe five, six times, but I cannot tell you how in love I am with this scent. I find it so incredibly sexy and extremely masculine. This is T Habanero from Rania J. My God, you guys, when I tell you that this is a sexy masculine, masculine masculine fragrance for a man I mean it what you're gonna get with this scent is a very ambery spicy slightly animalic resinous dry woody scent it is not for a boy this scent is not for a boy this is not for early 20s this is for a masculine masculine sexy man who is very very confident and very charismatic this is just an incredible fragrance very woody ambery spicy resinous smoky slightly animalic in a way just a little bit but it is intoxicating on a man's skin this is not going to be for every single one of you this is just going to be for a select few of you so t habanero from Rani and jay i cannot tell you how good this fragrance is and it is a beast like an absolute beast this one is going to last around 10 hours on the skin with a really good projection so definitely check this one out if you want something like I described, you have to get on this scent. Next up, guys, we have Falcon Leather from Mattia Premier. I often get asked what my favorite men's fragrances are from Mattia Premier, and without a doubt, my favorite is Falcon Leather. Once you have tried Falcon Leather, you're gonna have a really hard time finding anything better because it is that good. Now, Falcon Leather is the most sexy, smooth, sweet, leathery, woody scent for men. This is extremely masculine, but very, very sexy. And because it has a sweeter aspect to the scent, I feel like it really complements the leatheriness and the woodiness that is going on in here really well. Because of the sweetness, it makes it a little more soft, a little more addictive, a little more appealing, rather than just being like a straight up leather woody scent. The sweetness in here is really what does the job. It is so, so incredible, so sexy. Oh my, oh my gosh, you guys, this is a 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10 fragrance right here. The longevity projection is also fantastic. You get around eight to 10 hours of really good wear with a nice projection. People will smell you, people will compliment you and be captivated by your fragrance. This fragrance is one of my new obsessions. And I was introduced to this fragrance because of Michelle Curly Fragrance. She showed me the scent and I could not stop thinking about it from the second that she showed it to me. This is Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise. Oh my gosh. I have no words for this scent. It is spectacular. For me, it almost kind of reminds me a little bit of La Nuit de L'Homme with Iris. That's what it smells like to me. I don't know if the notes are in common or whatever, but for me, it almost reminds me of the same type of scent as La Nuit de L'Homme, but with a beautiful, smooth iris note running through it. You have a little bit of a freshness, a little bit of a spiciness. You have the smooth, creamy iris note, some sandalwood. It is intoxicating, you guys. And 
Another question that I get asked a lot from you guys is what fragrances to wear while you are Netflix and chilling. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. This. This is the scent that you have to wear. If you are getting intimate with somebody, wear this fragrance right here. Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise is just intoxicating on a man's skin. Now, the only issue with this scent that I have is that it doesn't really last that long. You probably get around six hours of decent wear with a nice projection. So you're gonna have to top this one up if you want it to last on your skin. Definitely over spray it because it's not very strong, but the scent character, the scent of this fragrance is just intoxicating. 10 out of 10, Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise, get it. Trust me, trust my recommendation and get this fragrance. It is just perfect. And finally, my last holy grail is Memo Paris African Leather. I am obsessed with this fragrance, especially on a man's skin. This again is something that I find to be so incredibly sexy. Now the fragrance is called African Leather, but personally I don't really get that much leather from this scent. What I get is a fresh, spicy, ambery, woody scent with a slight smoky touch. It is wow, like wow, wow, wow on a man's skin. It's fresh spicy, very sweet and ambery and dry and woody and it's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous fragrance. You guys definitely wear this fragrance on a night out or even in a formal situation, a summer night as well. This fragrance on a summer night works incredibly well on the skin. The longevity projection is also really good. I get around eight hours of really good wear with a nice projection. So fantastic. I cannot say enough good things about African leather. It's just perfect, like absolutely perfect. That is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my holy grail men's fragrances. These are my holy grails on a man. If I, my whole entire collection disappeared, these would be the ones that I would repurchase for my partner because I need to smell them on a man. They are so, so good. You can also find all of the info of these products on Sniff. If you wanted to read the notes or look at some reviews, you can find them on Sniff. Thank you guys for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.